Hello everyone. So welcome back to Learn Daily Physics. So you can see that we've completed the necessary part of thermodynamics. And today we are going toward the statistical mechanics. So first uh, we have to look what statistical mechanics is. But before going toward that, I will make a flowchart of statistical mechanics that what we will do in statistical mechanics. So, so first I will write that we have statistical mechanics. Statistical mechanics. From which we have two subtypes. One is classical statistical statistical mechanics and the second one is quantum statistical mechanics statistical mechanics in classical statistical mechanics we deal with the Boltzmann Maxwell Boltzmann statistics statistics and in quantum mechanics we deal with Bose Einstein Einstein statistics plus Fermi Dirac statistics okay this is the basic you can say this is the basic flowchart that we have a statistical mechanics it is further divided into the two main types from that two main type we will have the Boltzmann statistics which is uh, P is equals to C E power minus E over K B T and let's see what is it and so first we will discuss this term then we will discuss this one then this one and these two okay so we will discuss them step by step so let's go to the statistical mechanics what statistical mechanics is so it is the branch of the physics which connects the microscopic properties of a system with the microscopic properties big properties with the small properties for example the property of a whole system can be calculated by considering a small system a microscope a macroscopic property can be calculated by the mi microscopic property and in statistical mechanics we deal with that that we have to calculate a big term from the small one so without con considering the detailed calculation of the individual particles we don't have to take every individual particle here that uh, if we have 10 molecules for example in a container or in a system that uh, we will we have we will study the four of them or two of them and we can assume a, a whole relation or a whole answer for the whole system so basic postulates for the me statistical mechanics are that all gases are composed of molecules which are continuous in motion in statistical mechanics we use gases because it is easy to deal with gases they have low intermolecular forces and for that reason we use 
gases they uh, all the particles of the gases move independent of other particles they move in a random way and whereas in liquid or in solids the intermolecular forces are strong and we have to consider them but in gases we can neglect the intermolecular forces and we say that this gas molecule is moving individually so all the gases are composed of molecules which are continuous in motion so number two moving on towards number two and number of particles are constant when you have a system with the constant volume then the number of particles are constant and energy will be constant okay elements of the cells are the elementary cells of the same size what does this mean is that uh, when we are talking about an ideal gas here and in ideal gas when you fill up some it, there is some kind of gas in it then the elementary molecules are of same size no big issue with that this is the tricky one so I'm moving on toward this point. All the accessible microstates are of equal probability. What is a microstate? So let's try to understand this from an example. So we say that we have a big state or a microstate. I'm rolling a dice, dice and it gets me six. I roll the dice and it get, gets me 6. I got 6. So, the microstate for getting 6 is 1 plus 5 equals to 6. 2 plus 4 equal to 6. 3 plus 3 equals to 6. And then... 2 no 4 plus 2 equal to 6 these are the states okay state 1 state 2 and they can have this and 5 plus 1 equal to 6 so I have 6 a big state a macro state and these are the micro states that I can do this 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 and this and I will get the same macro state but the micro states are changed just like I have a home I have my home here and there is a root one two three four five these are the micro state and this is my destination so are of equal probabilities that the probability of this term occurrence of this term is same like this one no term is superior on other this could occur same this could occur same this could occur at the same rate or time all have same probability okay so i think you understand what microstates are so that's it now we've got what statistical mechanics is now we have to move toward the classical statistical mechanics. What is classical statistical mechanics? We will see this in next lecture.